Hey there, my name's Jacob, and this is a testimonial for Julian Noye, or Julian. And I met him through a community of other facilitators, coaches, and one of the main reasons I wanted to start working with him is because, first, I know the value of having a coach as an athlete. I, I've had many coaches in my life, and it's kind of weird to not have one, <laughs> in, a, in a sense. And, and I've also worked with a hypnotist in the past to help solve some problems very elegantly. So I was like, okay, this is definitely someone I want to you know, engage with and see how it goes. And wow, definitely a- amazing results where there's two unconscious patterns that I had, self-sabotaging habits that us humans definitely tend to pick up sometimes. First one, which was smoking, which was so just way, way out of left field for me, especially for me. Grew up in North Dakota, so cold in the wintertime, and and it's illegal against the law inside, so everyone's just like huddled together in this tiny corner smoking, and I hadn't smoked for the first 26 years of my life, so, and then I, I, but I started working on these gardens, volunteering in the summertime, and my colleagues were smoking so oh i (laughs) i never thought i'd say this because whenever i ask people so what what, what's your reason for smoking just curious and or they would just tell me like oh it's a way to socialize like hey you got a cigarette a little light let's you know and i i could never understand this excuse like yeah, there's different ways to socialize. You could just go up to someone to talk. You don't need to. There's no reason to have a cigarette. But then I realized I started using this as a reason, an excuse to participate and join these these two people that I was working with. Because they were smoking and they, they were using a natural tobacco or, or loose tobacco instead of cigarettes. So they would roll and then they would offer me because, I mean, it's a whole cigarette. And they weren't smoking like addictive, 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 like people are smoking two packs a day. Maybe they smoke two cigarettes a day. They smoke a little bit and then they just let it. So... Or sometimes five or, or ten. Nah, usually not ten, but the the point is like I, I started to I was joining and I started to smoke more and more. And then I started coughing a lot. And uh as as a as an athlete, I mean I'm not a professional athlete, but I compete I've competed most of my life. My health is and wellness is so it's one of my number one values. And I, I was coughing consistently almost every day and just really not realizing it was taking a toll on me. Not only that, but I started to to start rolling these also because, hey, I don't want to just smoke and not actually uh, contribute to this. So then I started rolling and then now there's always something available to smoke, right? <laughs> If my, if my colleagues weren't around, then at the beginning I would smoke, but now I was, and it was, it was getting unconscious where I wasn't enjoying the, I wasn't enjoying smoking, rather I was just like, just after this effect, right? Just like, oh, I really just, I don't want to feel this, I want to feel that. And Julian really helped to dehypnotize me from this where uh, he, he guided me through some mental exercises. And then, he, at the, and then at the end, I had this mental tool, this, yeah, this, I would call it a mental tool, where now I can, I can almost, like, I've, I could, it, it helped to unwind the trigger, which was causing this, I want that. 
and now I've got some distance from it, some space, and I can see, okay, this, this is what's causing this, this, like, this craving, and so now I can consciously engage with, this morning, my, my colleague asked me, hey, do, do you want, I've, I've got something, do you want to smoke? I've got, I've got a cigarette here, you want to smoke? And I, I just said, no, thank you, I, I'm, not right now and so it's just having that ability to like i said consciously say yes or no for what's 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 right for me now instead of like oh i I don't want that i want that in the future and so he, he i've got this tool and it the cool thing is this tool i also had another unconscious uh, pattern or self-sabotaging habit, which was, uh, Tinder swiping, (laughs) right? Where I'm a single guy and living in central Eastern Europe as an American. Oh my God. So many attractive girls for me. Attractive attraction isn't a choice, but oh, the, a lot of these girls are really so attractive for me and exotic in some way even though I've been living in Europe for a while but it's they still got it's still that flavor and so I just incessant tinder swiping just like and again he he kind of helped me to see what hold a mirror to me in a way and help me to see okay this is what it is but not only hold a mirror but also to like I said guide me out of this this kind of stuck in the mud right okay jake step this way and then this way and that way and then you're good and the cool thing was it was almost the same after our session together i was using the same mental tool outside of the coaching call because it's one thing while i'm work while a person is working you know a coach is with you and you know there's this there's this 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 like energy this excitement this inspiration this motivation but then an hour after the call or or a half an hour or 10 minutes that that inspiration starts to gutter out like those flames start to die out so what is a person going to do when they're not you know attached having having someone in their ear and this is the mental tool that he had given me for the smoking exercise mapped and translated over to this this tinder as well so it really works with any unconscious habit or self-sabotaging habit and wow yeah just that like oh i I, such a relief to be able to have that because now i can choose i'm choosing to swipe on tinder and i'm like okay i i'm good this isn't serving me anymore so i'm done and yeah just having this mental to us so it, it, it was worth the call alone even if he he some like i somehow started smoking unconsciously again i know i could unravel it and and start to you know step away from it or or swap it out with a better pattern a better have better behaviors so uh yeah that's that's my experience working with Julian so far i definitely intend to work with him going forward we already have some more calls scheduled so super excited for that i definitely recommend working with him uh i had a little bit of hesitation at first because he's french and there's such a strong stereotype of french people hating to speak english hey they just don't want to speak it it's not that they they can't they just don't want to they want to speak their mother tongue and and even if they can speak a little bit that's the problem a lot of times french people 
They just, they don't want to speak English, so they don't want to learn it. But Julian has not only the appropriate fluency, but he's using metaphors in a way that, and stories that anyone can relate to. Any Anyone who has a conversational grasp of English can, can work with him. So that that that's great to know and uh anyways that's all i got to say i i definitely recommend working with him or scheduling book booking a call with him i i've definitely gotten value out of it S- saved me you know, saved me a lot of lungs a lot of uh coughing and even just time to go outside and smoke it's cold right now and i don't want to go outside if i gotta smoke right (sighs) anyways that that's it for my testimonial i hope you have an amazing day and i definitely recommend recommend that if you watch this video this far reach out to julian and see what he can help you change